Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to Jamie's 12 Days of Christmas where for 12 days leading up to Christmas, I will be celebrating 12 creators who have had a huge impact on my beauty journey, helping me move from makeup enthusiast, makeup hoarder, makeup junkie to now YouTuber slash content creator. Today we are on day nine and I am so very excited about this one because today I'm gonna to be celebrating none other than the beautiful Tina, AKA the fancy face. Before we dive into how I'm gonna honor Tina, I do wanna quickly introduce myself if this is your first time watching me. Hi, like I said, my name is Jamila. I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup. I love all things skincare. And I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Now, let's get into why Tina and how I'm planning to honor her today. I feel like it's kind of obvious. <laughs> If you didn't know, Tina's Jamaican, I'm Trinidadian. Like, it's like a match made in heaven, right? I absolutely love Tina. I've been watching her content for years and it just kind of baffles me that she isn't as large as I feel like she should be in this space because she is one of the OG creators on this platform and she puts out some of the best content that I have seen. I fell in love with Tina because of her personality. As a Caribbean immigrant, so someone that grew up in Trinidad and migrated to the US, there's a lot of differences that I've had to deal with in terms of being a black woman, but not being African American. Um, there's a lot of cultural differences. Like I don't need to go into what those differences are, but you know, not all black people come from the same background and not all black people have the same sort of cultural similarities. And it's very different if you are African American versus if you are black Caribbean. It's super hard to find black creators on this platform. And it is basically impossible to find Caribbean creators on this platform, at least for me. I found it really hard to find creatures that were um, Afro-Caribbean, black Caribbean, whatever it is on this platform. And Tina was one of the first ones and honestly probably still is the only one that I know on this platform. And I absolutely loved her content because her personality and her vibe were just so similar to mine. I feel like her being her true self and her showing her Caribbean side, her personality, just kind of gave me permission to do the same. Like she is, how do I say this? Caribbean people have a intensity to them where we say what we want and we're unapologetic for it. And that's how I am just generally. And I feel like watching her do that in her channel, on her platform, just be who she is without apology, without like feeling like she needs to sugarcoat or change who she is, made me feel more comfortable in, you know, stepping out onto this platform and being who I am truly, not having to worry about if my accent is gonna come out, not having to worry about if I come off a little too sassy, a little too Caribbean. It just felt nice to see that in someone else. Now, like I said, she's been on this platform for a while and honestly, I truly believe that she has not gotten the accolades and the respect that she deserves for having been on this platform for so long. But I do want to celebrate what she's accomplished so far. So she did hit 100,000 subscribers this year, so huge congratulations to her. But then she also had an amazing collaboration with Odin's Eye Cosmetics to create the Hummingbird palette. I've had this palette in my collection for some time now. I've been wanting to do a first impressions video on it, but it has been really busy, so to honor Tina today, I decided that I would finally do my first impressions video of this palette. First of all, packaging. It is absolutely stunning. Now, this is a completely textured, so you can actually feel and play with it. I love that they created almost a cartoon-like picture of Tina. And then, when you open it up, this is the color story. It is the most tropical tropically beautiful color story I have ever seen. And this will honestly be my second time diving into the Odin's Eye formula, which I have actually come to really like and appreciate after having tried the Giant Wolves palette. So I'm really excited to dive into this. As I typically do with my first impressions videos, I'm gonna give you guys some live swatches of all of the shades. And then I'm just gonna give you guys one look because truth be told, I really don't have the time. <laughs> I have so many more videos to film, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, let us get into this 
Hummingbird goodness. Okay, so like I said, these are all of the shades in the Hummingbird palette. I'm just gonna go row by row and swatch these for you guys. So here we have the first three shades. Feathers, Red Hills, and Star Apple. Here we have the next three shades. Swallowtail, Tropics, and Lagoon. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Like, oh! Here we have the next three shades. We have Hibiscus, Beach Sands, Oh, that's pretty, and Hummingbird. And here we have the last three shades. We have Fancy, which is the multi-chrome, Blue Fields, and Clear Blue. I'm gonna put Fancy here in between these two. So we have Fancy, Blue Fields, and Clear Blue. So here we have all of the swatches. This is absolutely amazing. So I am 1000% gonna put Fancy on my face because it is the multi-chrome in the palette. And then I really, really wanna play around with this blue shade, it's called Lagoon. So I think I'm gonna go for a somewhat blue look today. I am so excited. When she released this palette, I was like, okay, this definitely makes sense for Tina. She's known for her colorful eyeshadow. She's known for her really bright, vibrant looks. And you know, it has to be Caribbean theme, right? So I remember seeing the color store and I was like, oh, that that's bright, bright. And I knew that it wasn't something that I would wear on an everyday basis. But now having swatched this, I am already obsessed and already loving this. Cleaning off my arm. And then I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer and we'll get started on today's look.
I get my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be, be let down Nitro to find I just wish I'd seen the price tag for my heart breaking Was it worth all that waiting? When I always knew just how I felt Yeah, I'm looking back at the past and I feel regret So I wanna walk on the block, see it absolutely obsessed with how this is looking so far let me add some let me add some liner I can't pretend I don't need you I can't pretend I don't love you I can't pretend I don't miss your touch I want you so much these wings ain't equal but <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that. Um, let's just finish up the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with the purple shade, this deep purple, and put that on the outer third of the eye. Okay, so this is what the eyes are looking like right now. I did go ahead and give myself a little bit of like a cat eye thing going on here. I'm trying y'all. <laughs> Let me finish up the rest of my face and then I'll come back to give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the final look featuring the Odin's Eye Hummingbird palette in collaboration with Tina, AKA the Fancy Face. I am... Um, honestly blown away. Well, before I give you all my final thoughts, just let, let me bring you all in a little bit closer so you can see this look in all of its gloriousness. Okay, so here are my final thoughts. I honestly feel like a hummingbird. <laughs> I feel like this look is so beautiful, so ethereal, it's so colorful that it really does make me feel like I'm an actual hummingbird. Now, I love this palette. I am so impressed with the way it performed. I feel like I didn't know what I was getting into because while I really do enjoy the Giant Wolves palette, I felt like I did have some difficulty with some of the matte shades being a little bit harder to blend. I will say that I did experience some of that with this palette. I guess what I've come to realize is that the Odin's Eye matte shadows specifically are very pigmented and just a little bit harder to blend. So it's not terrible, it's not unworkable by any means. You just have to be careful and go in with the lightest touch. Like I was super surprised 
when I went in with this blue shade Lagoon because I thought I picked up like the smallest amount on my brush and the pigment was insane. I felt like I had to blend so much just to diffuse it out even though I didn't think I grabbed that much. Now I only used the Fancy which is the multi-chrome on my lids so I can't speak to the other shimmers but so far I'm actually quite impressed. I think I can get a lot of really great looks out of this palette. I also do think that there is the potential to get some more wearable slash versatile looks if you were to go in with uh, these, this beach sands shade or even this copper orangey shade here. I think that you could still get some slightly more wearable looks, but this is not, it's obviously meant to be a colorful eyeshadow palette. Overall, I love it. I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. I'm so happy that I was able to support Tina on her first eyeshadow collab, which honestly, she knocked it out the park with this one. So as you guys already know, today we are celebrating Tina from the Fancy Face. Um, and she is my ninth creator on my 12 Days of Christmas series. So as always, please don't forget to head over to her channel. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you go show her some love on both her Instagram and her YouTube channel. Now, if you like this video, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the family. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about the video. Um, don't forget to like, don't forget to share. Now, I, for, I honestly can't remember the details of this palette, so I will have it linked down below. I do know that this was a limited edition collab, and they, it did go on sale for Black Friday at 40% off. I'm not sure if the sale is still on. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, all of that information will be linked down below because this is really fabulous, and I would definitely recommend you having it in your collection if you are interested into in these more colorful, bright eyeshadow palettes. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. The playlist for this series will be linked down below so you can catch up on all of the creators that you missed. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And as always, I love you guys, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.